hey guys welcome to another video and as expected it's raining android 12 roms for multiple devices and you will have almost all of the content covered on this channel so if you've not already please subscribe today we have aero os 12 unofficial yesterday we made such a video for the k20 pro and today we have aero version 12 based on android 12 this is the initial release we're going to install it and we're going to look at the first impressions real quick but before we get into all of that if you've not already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Aero OS unofficial beta ROM OSS YU Bhima works on both the devices. That's Poco X3 Pro. This is the unofficial version based on Android 12 released on the 8th of October 2021, right? Now, it is saying that you use Aero OS recovery, but in this video, we'll be using TWRP. Dirty flashing over our builds may work. Requires MIUI 12.5 firmware of any region. Safety net passes out of the box. That is good for Android 12 ROM. SE Linux status is permissive and we have some other notes. Now in our case, we are using the GApps build. So we will be using the firmware and the ROM. That's just two files that we have. If you need root access, you can go ahead and use Majisk to flash it after the ROM. Now you need to make sure of a few things. You need to remove your lock screen, password, your face unlock, your fingerprint unlock, and you need to make sure you have more than 50% battery and that you've backed up all the information on your phone's internal storage. Now, once you've taken care of all of these, the most important part that you need to take care of is that you have unlocked the bootloader and you have TWRP installed. Now, once all of that is taken care of, just go ahead and reboot your device into TWRP by pressing volume up and power. All right, so once you have booted to TWRP, go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data cache. Don't wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. Now go to install, select the firmware first, add more zips, select the Android 12 Aero OS, swipe to confirm flash. Now these are two files that we are flashing along with a ROM which is GApps version. So it'll take around 30 seconds to a minute for it to be flashed. So please be patient while that flashing happens. All right, now as you can see, everything has been flashed. We've not had any error. So go to the main screen, go to wipe, go to format data and type in yes. Now reboot system. Now again, the, the first boot will take anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds. So please be patient while that happens. All right, just like that, we are on the setup screen. Let's skip the setup part. I don't know, for Poco X3 Pro, this is the second uh, Android 12 version uh, ROM initial build that I'm trying. And I somehow feel that the brightness might be on the lower side. I'm pretty sure they will fix it though. All right, so let's quickly have a look at Aero OS over here. You have your Android 12 quick tiles over here and your power menu at the center. As always, settings, editing option. And if we have, no, we don't really have any major changes over here. To the left, of course, oh, you don't have Google Feed. So actually go to home settings and you will see that it has the Aero launcher widgets. Your Android 12 widgets are here. And then you have wallpapers. So if you go to wallpaper in style, you just have one wallpaper as always. Just the same was the case on the Redmi K20 Pro as well. Now, there are no applications at all, and that is beautiful. I know with time, the amount of applications that are installed on this particular ROM will increase somewhat, but AeroOS has been known to be very, very clean, very, very minimalistic, and that is the reason it performs that well. Now, you do have a very, very basic camera application. You do have your dialer messaging and Play Store, all the essential apps that you need. So if you actually go to settings, you go to about phone, and you go to your version number Android 12, you will see that it comes with the Aero kernel, October security patch. That's your Easter egg for Android 12, working like a charm. And if you go to widgets, you have your new paint chips widget over here. So everything working as expected. I've not had any force closures, any major issues. So if you go to display and 
I'm looking for the refresh rate option over here, which I am not able to find. So I think they will add that in a later, you know, later release or something like that. But all in all, AeroOS at this point doesn't really have a lot of customization. It is usually a very, very light ROM as well. And the initial impressions are pretty decent. So you can go ahead and try it. I did find it to be a little laggy, not too much, but very, very slightly laggy. But that's okay, you know, with time things will improve. These are initial builds we are talking about and it is my job to bring these initial builds to you guys with the same devices. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about AeroOS on the Poco X3 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.